Okay friends, it's time to get started on replacing our downstream O2 sensor. Now you'll notice that I'm underneath the car. The front of the car is in this direction and the rear of the car is back that way. If you were to follow the exhaust up above the subframe here, you're gonna be able to find a gray connector with a wire leading off of it. That's the connector for the downstream O2 sensor. Now on this, you're gonna find that you have a gray squeeze tab over towards the driver's side of the connector. Generally, you can just go ahead and squeeze on that and separate the two pieces. Now, if you have a hard time getting up in there and squeezing that while pulling, you can also continue on with a pick. We'll come along the passenger side of this and carefully get underneath the locking ear. Now, once I have that popped up and out of its position, I'll continue on by separating the two wiring harnesses. Every time you disconnect an electrical connector, take a peek. If you see any funny colors, it's corrosion and that would need to be dealt with. We can set this aside. So now we switched around to the front of the vehicle looking towards the rear. Directly above that subframe, once again, you can see the O2 sensor directly in the exhaust pipe. To remove this O2 sensor, you're gonna to wanna to have an O2 sensor socket. Looking at this, you can tell it has a slot going through it. That's important because that's the area that the wiring needs to go through. We'll slide that into position on top of that O2 sensor. Use a 3 8 drive ratchet, Turn it counterclockwise to remove it. There. Now with the O2 sensor out of there, continue on by inspecting the threads inside the hole. You want to make sure they don't look like they're rotted or damaged in any way. Assuming they look good, it's time to install our brand new downstream O2 sensor. Let's take that O2 sensor and turn it in clockwise by hand. As you're turning this in, be extremely careful not to twist your wires too much. You don't want to damage them in any way. Once you have that as tight as you can by hand, continue on with your O2 sensor tool. Now right there, it feels as though it's stopped, essentially bottomed out. We're just gonna take this a little further just to make sure it's completely seated. Inspect the area. Make sure it looks as though the O2 sensor is completely bottomed out against the pipe. It can't be loose in any way, otherwise you're gonna find you have an exhaust leak and a check engine light. Now it's time to reconnect our O2 sensor. Let's line up the locking tab. We'll slide it in until we hear a click and then give it a tug. All right, now you just want to double check to make sure the wire isn't free and loose to the point that it could potentially get caught on anything. Okay friends, we finished installing our downstream O2 sensor. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is carefully get out from underneath the vehicle. Start it up, let it run for a minute or two, make sure you don't have a check engine light and no exhaust leak. After that, take it for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.